the places to put them because it is a lot going on in the community. Yeah. So it's hard. Like they don't like a job, a business place. I want to accept autistic people, but do I want to lose money on the same at the same time? They're looking more at their money way yeah. than they're looking at should I care because this person has this a uh, disability. They don't advertise it. Yeah, I totally agree because there's, there's a lot of help out there that um, people aren't aware of. I will say about disability, it's not hierarchical. Like, people um, talk about like different abilities um, or people of all abilities. That's actually kind of like misleading because disability doesn't mean like a lack of ability. It means you're diverse in some way and it has nothing to do with your abilities. Just like um, I use terms disabled versus non-disabled. I don't use able-bodied because everybody's able-bodied. Like even if you have a physical disability, your body is still able to do a lot of things. But I say so, that attitudes are the only real disabilities. No, I don't use I don't use euphemisms. I don't use cute little stuff like that. No, disability no, but is but, but disability. No, but let me finish. Disability is not a bad thing. Right. It's diversity. Um, it's important to use the terms disability and disabled. It is also important for acknowledging oppression. If we can't say disability, we also are erasing all the oppression and discrimination and the genocide that does exist just because we want to make it cute and palatable and comfortable for non-disabled people. And that's not okay. Attitude can make or break a company, a country, And people with disabilities are not less competent. That's another myth. Yeah. Um, I heard us talking about like going to college and maybe people with disabilities aren't going to follow a college path. No, they absolutely can follow a college path. Yeah. Um, we're trying to increase representation in higher education and increase representation in employment. And it's because society has not been designed around disability. Right. So accommodations are not special treatment. It's that we have designed accessibility for a subset of our population, but not everyone. So. But we all got into this building because it's accessible to us. And just like information is made accessible for some people, technology, and so on and so forth. And also we need to change our social norms because it's also not just on us mm. to try to change to fit with an oppressive society. We need to like follow the social model and like dismantle a lot of the way that society has been already created um, so that it's more, it's more inclusive yeah. um, rather than trying to fix people, which is genocidal, slippery slope thinking. Um, even if we're trying to make people act in a different way, that's kind of genocidal thinking. It's like trying to make people non-disabled, just like make people not gay. It's not cool. So that's, I think it's important for us to be inclusive of disability all the way around. I think um, when we talk about disability, Beth, I know that you have a lot of experience um, being that you are disabled yourself as well, but also it's important to have many perspectives across communities and not have like one person try to tell the whole story either. Like, the society couldn't build the society up with people who were disabled because when my grandma was a kid and stuff, people who were disabled, they just like threw them under the rug. Like it was, they, did. they didn't, they didn't even know what what was wrong with the person really like it took for years for scientists to figure out and now that I'm 23 it's like a thing now really that we have to take disabled people into consideration but when I was younger I didn't see that many disabled people like at all and when my grandma was younger my grandma never even told me a such thing as disabled people then I got older and